Hello, my name is Keelong and I'll be doing a demo on how to use a member. So in the videos before you saw uh, the you learn about the theory of MPC, um, the architecture of scale and some programming techniques that can be used in in scale. And in the goal of this video is to show you um, how to apply these techniques in a concrete example. So the plan is to start with a very simple Python program. Um, the, the Python program is, is basically a very simple implementation of linear regression and then we will convert it uh, to member and Hopefully during this process you will learn um, how to code in member. And finally I will uh, show you how to run it and run it using a few different access structures. Okay, so let's get started. Um, here I'm just in the, the scale member uh, slash programs directory and I've created the linear regression folder and uh, so I will show you the the Python uh, code here so let's go to this gradient descent MSE function this function is uh, basically the, the main uh, function that runs in this script it's calculating, it's, it's doing linear regression, um, so you're, you're giving it x, x is y and y, so x coordinates and y coordinates, and you want to find or build a model mx plus c such that, um, so, such that this model fits um, these coordinates. And so here are the, the other inputs are m and c, which are the uh, gradient and the constant. That this is the initial estimate of gradient and constant. And alpha is the learning rate, um, and iterus is the number of iterations you want to run uh, this algorithm. Um, yeah, so I won't go into too much detail about how linear regression or gradient descent works. The goal of this video is to not not teaching you what uh, linear regression is, but to to show you how to use member. Um, so if you don't fully understand uh, everything linear regression related, it's okay. But basically, what it's doing is um, it's it's running the gradient descent algorithm. For, for this mean squared error function, this f I've defined. So this f is calculating the, the error between the, the estimates using mx plus c and the, the uh, coordinates x and y. So if the error is big, it's going to get, get squared and this the value of this function will be high and you want to minimize this function basically. And yeah, th this is these other arguments I already mentioned. Um, so in this Python program, the x, x's and y's are provided to the program, but after we convert it to, uh, to, to member, they will come from different parties. So I will come back to this later. And yeah, the main thing it does here is basically Calculating the, the derivatives of the mean square error function, so dfdm and dfdc, and then um, scaling it using the, the learning rate alpha, and then just updating m and c uh, every iteration. So the idea is um, DF, dm and dfdc should become smaller and smaller every iteration and that should lead us closer and closer to the correct values uh, of m and 
can see. So I can also show you these two functions at the top. Um, yeah, they are simply calculating um, you know, sums or products, and 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 here's just the sums. If you're interested, you can pause the video and um, and look at how how these functions are derived. Okay, so before going further, uh, let me just run this Python code. Um, there's also some other stuff like the helper function to read from standard in. And um, okay, so here's the 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 main. Um, so we're reading some the inputs. So we are giving uh, grading the same as e. The start M and start C, these are our initial estimates of M and C. And then we're, we're basically running this function for, for 10 iterations and then uh, printing printing the result. And here's the code uh, where we plot the output. Okay, so let's try. Uh, before, before that, let me just show you the, the data. So. So here, here are the x uh, coordinates, and these are the y coordinates. Um, nothing really special here. And um, and let's run it. Uh, type to reference.py. Okay. Then, so these are the m and c uh, outputs. Uh, it's hard to see if they, these are correct. So we are, so so the program also generated this SVG file, so we can look at that. Okay, here it is. Um, so the blue dots are our uh, data. The green one is. The initial estimate of M and C. So remember, um, our gradient was at zero. So this is just a constant line. And then this uh, red line is our uh, final estimate of M and C um, after uh, ten iterations. So as you can see, it's it's going through all these points, so that seems to be correct. Okay. Okay, now that was the simple Python program, and now we're ready to move on to, uh, to porting it to Mamba.